Today we're doing a special, special book review. Man, life is easy. We make it hard. By Arthur Corey Collins. If y'all haven't picked this book up, let me tell y'all. Find this man on social media. Find this man on uh, Amazon. Wherever you need to find and pick up this book. Definitely got to have this one. Um, I don't want to get into any copyright issues or nothing like that with my brother. But uh, I just want to say congratulations first and foremost on the completion and uh, the publishing of, of your uh, work. I salute you, my brother. And... Uh, it took me a little minute to read this book, you know, with family and everything. But, man, I picked up a lot of great things in here just about life and organizing. And, uh, man, I'm going to get into some a few things about in this book. I'm not going to really, like, read verbatim, but I'm just going to, like, pick y'all brains with something. But, look, the rate, 1 through 10, life is easy. We make it hard. It's a 10. You got to have it. Go get it if you ain't got it. This should be... A New York Times bestseller, hands down. Um, I think my man's originally out of Florida. He talks about it a little bit in the book, talking about being, I believe, from uh, Orlando, Florida. Orlando, the whole city should have this book. Okay, the whole state should have this book. You know what I mean? This book is very encouraging. It's very powerful. It, it makes you analyze yourself. And, like, do you really have your priorities together? You know what I mean in life? So... I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to read this though. I'm going to read this verbatim. This ain't going to be no copyright issue. I think I was a, one of the first people to actually get this book. And uh, <clears throat> Tissa Vallis, one of the truest brothers I know. Your grind inspires me. Keep doing your thing. Thank you for the support. May this book be a blessing to you. No Limit for Life. Signed by Corey Collins. I appreciate that, soldier. Man, double salute, baby. Um... So, you got the introduction. <clears throat> um, I'm going to skip that. And I'm going to go into... Oh, wait a minute. Did I pass it already? Let me see. This book was so great, man. Like, man, y'all don't even know. Y'all need to get this if y'all ain't got it. Um, the first chapter is called Your Journey. And... Let me go back real quick and read this. Well, I'm not going to read it verbatim, but I'm just going to point out a couple things that it's talking about. <laughs> um, it starts off like ridiculous. Talking about just your journey in general. Um, it's so motivating. Man. He got a lot of great quotes in here from a lot of uh, different artists as well. Or um, authors, should I say. Um, he talks about possibilities, necessities. Um eternally and externally um, things that motivate you you know what I mean eternally and externally things like that um, I'm gonna skip around just to kind of give y'all an idea of what's happening chapter 2 is about adversity and failures man um, <laughs> he talks about uh, famous people who have failed in life uh, doing certain things but um, they found motivation in order to pick themselves back up everybody from Elvis Presley to Walt Disney um, to I believe uh, who else he talked to Oprah Winfrey um, just some people that you can he shares their stories a little bit about them um, just to encourage you I'm not going to go through every single chapter I'm just giving y'all a little idea <clears throat> of uh, what to expect or what you can look forward to let's go further into the book <laughs> time management and balance Woo! let me tell you this one right here with time management and balance let me tell you this one really really hit home for me because especially this last uh, this year mostly because um, I've been a full time student for like two years now doing my real estate um, courses and <clears throat> I'm, yeah, I'm married have a wife have a two year old child and we just had a a newborn uh, baby we have a daughter another daughter she's two months old now and time management as far as like and I live maybe like an hour and 15 20 minutes from where I go to school at and so like just managing that time and then coming home and and and, and having to make time for my wife and make time for my baby and then uh, when she was pregnant most of uh, the time well throughout my whole semester she was pregnant she had the baby after I graduated. <laughs> but anyway, 
um, dealing with that and then your regular family, you know, uh, situation. And I, I do own rental property out of state, so I deal with that all the time. And then um, I, I run several different little small businesses, everything from my music that I put out to um, my videos that I do here to uh, my clothing line that I'm a partner uh, with my homeboy with. And so I'm pulled in a lot of different directions. But time management and balance, it's, man, if you want to get some on point uh, revelation about how to help organize yourself, one of the things that I love is um, Eat That Frog and the ABCDE method. Oh my goodness, those those right there can probably save you a, a, a lot of uh, headaches from uh, having to pick and choose and you trying to do everything. I'm a Capricorn, so by nature, or Zodiac, um, I'm a very determined and willed person. And when I put my mind on something, like I stick to it, I do it, I do it, I kind of shut everything else off and I just stick to that uh, one or two or three things. But I find myself personally <laughs> that that's not the best thing for like my marriage you know what i'm saying for me as a father and for me as a uh even a little brother or um an uncle you know what i mean to people who look up who look up to me or who are counting on me for something because i get so determined to the left that i don't even look to the right did i do that right <laughs> anyway um there's some great methods in here man that you guys should definitely check out and read uh, I'm not going to read them. I don't want my man to hit me with no copyright issues. I just wanted to throw that one out there. Um, getting in the zone. If you, That's what I do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm always in the zone. That's my problem. Um, man. Life, work, balance. My baby's crying right now. She's in her swing. I'm going to have to go tend to her. So I'm going to have to end this video in a second. Self-sabotage. <laughs> that's more towards the end of the book. Um, you know... Life is easy. We make it hard, man. Self-sabotage. One of the last chapters. It's uh, it's pretty clear-cut. And I'm not going to say ironic, but it's like a duh moment. It's like, duh. Like, if I do this, this, and this, and this. Like, of course, why would I expect to have these results positive over here? And so, uh, it just... This book is, is fantastic and it's great. You know what I mean? Um, once again, I appreciate you, Mr. Collins, for putting this together. I hope your book does fantastic. I hope you keep doing fantastic. Thank you for sharing your career um, endeavors and your career ups and downs and the people that you've contacted and the people that you came in uh, touch with who inspired you in some way or who you helped inspire. Um, Man, much love and much respect to you and your family. You speak about your wife a lot in here and, and your children and how uh, different different times, how they uh, help mold, you know, the person that you become. And so um, go get it, man. Life is easy. We make it hard. This is the real talk. You know, we are actually, or you are, or we are, you know, we are the reasons. We are the reasons for our reality. You know what I mean? We are the reasons for our reality. So go get it. Salute, it's a 10.